Hello, dear ones, Father Peter John, coming to you from All Saints Orthodox Church in Bloomington, Indiana. Christ is in our midst. First, a plug for the sayings of the Desert Fathers. I talk about this all the time in church, all the time, uh, because it is so important for us to read the lives of the Desert Fathers in a good and accessible translation like this one, for example, to see what it looks like to live as a devoted Christian in the early church. It's a very, very important. Um, I remember today uh, I'm talking about St. Sisoes the Great, and he, one particular teaching of his, um, and that is, you know, that he, he said that anytime any monks would come to him or that spiritual children would come to him and want spiritual formation, you know, he would start with humility. He would say the most important thing you need is humility. He said you need to think of yourself as lesser than everyone else. You have to do that. You have to think of yourself as lesser than everyone else. That was his teaching, and that was the teaching of the Desert Fathers. And, um, you know, St. Paul even talks about himself being the chief of sinners. And we say this in church before we receive communion, um, that, that, that of whom I am first, or of or the sinners of whom I am chief, right? So there is this real sense in true Christian spirituality that we're supposed to see ourselves as the chief of sinners. We're supposed to see everyone as um, better than us. And yet, that's not the message in the world. I remember when I was a kid and my brother was reading uh, the Desert Fathers, you know, I was about 11 years old, and he would read to me while I was going to sleep, and I loved it. I, 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 I just loved hearing him tell the lives of the saints and, and the Desert Fathers, the sayings of the Desert Fathers. And then I, I remember going to my, you know, fifth grade classroom when I was uh, uh, 11 years old and hearing the teacher talk all about the importance of having high self-esteem. And, you know, they were trying to do something helpful. They left Christ out of it. They left God out of it, spirituality out of it. But they were just trying to, you know, they were trying to help the kids realize, I guess, that, you know, that they have worth because they're human beings, you know, and they're, they're priceless. And that's, that's good uh, in, insofar as it goes, I guess, except for it, it can really come across as exactly opposite of what the church fathers were teaching, the desert fathers we're teaching and what we confess uh, in church. So we have great worth. We're created in the image and likeness of God. Um, and if we've been baptized into Christ, we've put on Christ. And he has gifted us with many things. And so there is this great self-worth that we have uh, because of who made us and in whose image we are made and because of who has gifted us all of these things and because of who loves us, and because of who provides uh, for us, and because of who is in our midst when two or three of us are gathered together in his name, etc., etc., etc. But when Sisoes the Great talks about the importance of humility as a foundation for a healthy spiritual life, we really need to take note of that. That we, we have to take note of the importance of humility, of seeing everyone else as being in better shape than we are. And then we have no footing uh, to, on which to stand and judge others, right? Um, the Lord wants us to come humbly to him. He wants us to set aside our pride, our thinking we're so much better than other people, our thinking that we're so great. He wants us to come and say, you know, to, to beat our chest and say, Lord, forgive me, the sinner. Uh, because we are sinners. I am the chief of sinners. And until we come with that kind of a posture toward Christ, that kind of an orientation, um, then we're, we're really going to be missing out in our spiritual life. So I encourage, I continue to encourage you to read the sayings of the Desert Fathers there, there are, and, and mothers. There aren't many mothers and there aren't many sayings of the mothers of the desert, but they are there. They're out there. Uh, but in particular, the sayings of the Desert Fathers, and uh, to read them, and to take them to heart, and to let your, your, your spiritual life be marinated in them. And you're not going to compete with them. You're, you're never going to do the things that they did. Most of us, we're just not called to live in a cave and not eat for a week at a time. I mean, that's, that's not our calling. 
but to take their spirituality to heart. You know, these guys who, St. Sisuwe's raised a child from the dead, and he thought he was the greatest sinner on the planet. Right? Sisuwe's did, right? I mean, you know, when he, he prayed, I mean, he would get wrapped in prayer and forget to eat for days on end. And yet he saw himself as the chief among sinners. When he was dying and his face was showing as bright as the sun, and the prophets came and the apostles came and the angels came, he was moving his lips in prayer and his disciples said, what is it you need? What is it you need, Abba? And he said, he said I'm asking the angels to give me a little bit more time to repent uh, before I take my last breath, right? As he's glowing bright as the sun. May we learn from these saints of the desert. Christ is in our midst. He is and never shall be.